And we are back to Pokemon White. So, last time after our little, uh, battle with Bianca, we get onto the Tubulin Bridge. And, uh, there, this lady's talking about the Friday Night Gang. Yeah, it's good training if you come in here on Friday Night in the Tubulin Bridge, because there's a lot of trainers here. Bikers, actually, but still trainers. Whatever, no difference. Hey, 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 stop, lady. And I get a random flame charge. You just everybody. Yeah, everybody comes up and talks to you while you're running this game flame charge. Okay. All right. That, that's cool. I guess. Go ahead and do that. Weird. Whoa! Who's this? It is the ninja dudes. Oh my god! And it's gets us. Why am I not surprised? Excellent. It seems you have obtained the dark stone. I congratulate you on a job well done. It is my lord and thought the two holders of the legendary Pokemon should put their beliefs in the line and strive to find which one is the true hero. This is not necessary, however. From his infancy, I provided him with the education required to become the hero of legend. Indeed, he has been so acknowledged by the legendary Pokemon. Such purity of purpose is his. The liberation of Pokemon, of which I, of which Team Plasma speaks, is the separation of Pokemon from foolish people. That's the truth. All trainers will become helpless to resist us. We alone will be able to use Pokemon. The preparations are complete. My perfect plan is set in motion when at first a few global Pokemon trainers who are unable to resist Team Plasma will release their Pokemon. Then that number will become a hundred, then a thousand. In no time, the gym leaders and the champion will be able to fight us. Having Pokemon will be considered a bad thing. Even people like sad little Bianca, whose Pokemon was stolen in Castelia, will be unable to face public opinion and release their Pokemon. That's the kind of world we'll make. You may have the stone, but there's no chance whatsoever that the legendary Pokemon will accept you as the hero. So if you're not willing to hand over your precious Pokemon, I suggest you search for some courage, because you're going to need it. Wow, every time I see Getsu, he's this more and more of a douche, isn't he? Um, okay then. Alright, they're just talking about Route 9, I guess, so... Whoa, baseball man, you play for the Pirates? And he gives me a TM. Thanks for answering my question. He didn't answer my question, I hate you. Come on, man, you play for the Pirates? Are you Albert Pujols? This guy's Albert Pujols, guys. Oh my god, snap my picture right now. Oh, oh my god, thank you, Mr. Pujols. Oh yeah, here's one of the... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, I was gonna demonstrate a glitch, but... Anyway, but the glitch is on this route, if you hold down the B button, then all the bikers go faster. Some people think it's actually, it's not a glitch, but it is. It's a glitch. Look it up. It's a glitch. It's not supposed to happen. But yeah. There's like the, they just go faster randomly. When you hit the little B button. Yeah, you guys learned something. I'm really uh, showing you guys a lot of glitches. I showed you the, the Icarus Gym, or Isiris Gym glitch, and I'm I am about to show you the glitch for this route. There's also one in, uh, it's um, kind of the same in uh, that tower. What is it called? Uh, Celestial Tower, yeah. The Celestial Tower, first the B button, then all the trainers move. If you don't believe me, go try it. Alright, see? Uh, he's not moving. Uh, let's find another biker. Alright, so this guy. See how he's moving? Now I'm going to press the B button. And look how much faster he's moving! See, that they didn't mean for that to happen. It's just there. And who do we have here? We have a bald man and a guy with purple hair. Uh-huh, so one bad guy plus another bad guy equals very bad guy. That's what that purple guy just said, I guess. 
All right then. Oh, and he has a mo on the back of his shirt. This guy is amazing. Even though he's bald. Why oh, you guys so obsessed with bald people, huh? It's not good for you guys. Troy's just spamming flies. Troy's just... I don't know, I don't know. Troy believes he can fly, and Troy flies, so that's what he does. He flies. And I just noticed that Eric and Troy are the same level. And, <laughs> he just killed himself. Well, he didn't really kill himself. He just kind of... He did damage to himself. What an emo person. And there's another bald man up here. Come on here. Come at me, bro. Come on, bald man. Alright, this got kinda quiet there for a minute. Like for no reason. Oh my god, I just realized that Troy is like really, really close to evolving. Like, he's like level 54 evolves. I hope I'm finally right, because all the other, these other times I'm always wrong. On what their evolutions are, but I think it's level 54. Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? <sighs> Troy, 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 you had to drag this out. Well, luckily, we have another bald man up here to battle. Alright, so if we just take out this Scraggy, it should be evolution time. I know you guys are like me so excited to see a Braviary. Oh my god. Most people don't use Braviaries in their walk because most people use Unpheasant, but I don't like Unpheasant. So I use a Rufflet, which is going to become a Braviary. If I'm correct, normally I'm not, but let's see. And I am indeed correct. Here it is, guys. This is the last evolution of Pokemon White Walkthrough. The last evolution.